All right, what's up guys, it's Mitch or Didi, and it's been forever since I've made a video on Epic 7, but I am back into the game big time. So I've been trying to put off until a new season of RTA before I got really back into the game because I don't want to try to get back in the middle and not know what's going on whatsoever, which is what I did. I still played like 200 matches a season, but I would lo or I'd, I'd play like every seven days and it was just a disaster. But today we are going to be looking at the new current. So I did get super lucky pulling her. I did like eight summons on and got her. I didn't do like the pity torture. So I triple S her right away. I gave her pretty decent gear. I wanted to keep her on pen set and I didn't want to steal gear from Rand. So 294 was the fastest I could do. I did put her on symbol of unity just to guarantee against Aiden's. I'm going to use her in arena for the showcase, but tomorrow I am going to start a series of trying to push to legend RTA. So I have every character in the game except Commander ashes Pavel, and I'm going to get Commander Pavel whenever dust he comes into coin shop rotation. So I should have every character in the game. The next Moonlight character I should be able to pull too. So we're looking really good. If any of you guys, before we get started, if any of you guys want to see any of the units I use in this video, uh, link to the Discord will be down below. It has all of my PvP units. They're kind of, some of them are kind of iffy right now. I'm going to be fully regearing my account soon i would like to get a little bit more gear before i do that is the thing I've, I've got so many new characters and i'm still lacking gear for a lot of them so i have my core pvp and then there's some off like kind of bad geared things but they still work so if you want to see any of my stats for any characters so you can go to my discord also if any of you are interested in account work so that's where i've been i've the only thing i do with epic 7 anymore is account work so people um, I charge people to log into their account. I will craft for them. I will use fribbles and regear. I can regear without fribbles if you aren't comfortable with that. Um, I clean up your gear inventory. If you have like 500 to 500, I go through and clean that up. Usually do like package deals of cleaning up gear, crafting a little bit, then fully regearing accounts. If you're curious on that, you can join the Discord and just DM me. Uh, I always am working on an account. I've, I think I've done like 400 plus accounts now. So if any of you guys want that, just join, ask me. The price is usually between like 30 and $70. If you have a big account, it's 100 But I keep it pretty cheap compared to all the other creators. So or I think I do at least. But we're going to be looking for Aiden drafts. So the thing is there is a Spirit Eye Selene. And a, there, people are going to be putting Spirit Eye Selene with Aiden on almost every team. So let me find a couple matches. And I will throw the, whatever like best showcase matches I can in after. But for right now... I gotta look around. Alright, so here's a fight where we have an Aiden, uh, two Revivers, and Deanne. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Karina to take out this, and I want to see... This is more or less how Karin can stack up against Apoc Ravi. So the issue here is Apoc Ravi is gonna rip straight into Karin, so I'm gonna have to kill very quickly. Um, I don't see this working, but we'll try it. I probably should use Abigail over Karina here, but then I don't know how I'm going to kill the Spirit Isolene. So what we're going to do is we're going to bank on the reset. We're going to kill, so she's going to be reset anyway. So we want to sleep her and get a little bit of damage early. Get the reset here. Nice. So we hit everyone but Aiden, and Aiden didn't matter. So perfect. So using her versus a hawk, the hawk's really nice because it gives himself, it gives attack buff to an ally, pushes them. Twenty-two thousand damage is fantastic, though. I will say. Um, do I want to even rip us three here? So she goes into stealth, which is really nice, especially against teams like this single target. Like, there's no reason to use the artifact that puts you in stealth. What is that? One rider. There's no reason to use one rider really. So she has us three. She's unbuffable. It doesn't matter. Alright, that did literally almost nothing. Um, the problem... Well, she cleanses. Never mind. Doesn't matter. She had unbuffable. So... The only target that can get hit is Karina. But we'll just boop into this. Once a Robbie's dead, we shouldn't be able to lose. All right, a Ravi on defense, their counter rate is 18 billion percent. It's insane. So there's going to be a cleanse here. I'm not going to hit a Ravi until Corinne's turn. So her soul burn is increased extra damage. I'm not fully mullet. I'm missing the last mullet. So 10% less damage. 
37k. That's not bad. I'll take that. I'll take that all day. So it's like that Spirit Eye Selena is so slow on their side. This is taking forever. Let's still kill this. And hopefully I don't crit. Nice. Okay. She goes in Karina. It doesn't matter. And she doesn't heal enough. She does doubled. She might have healed enough. She just healed a ton. Alright. I didn't crit because they anti-crit. Team Synergy. Deanne with her. Fantastic. But her damage? Fantastic. I don't know. She's a, she's definitely a super solid Aiden counter. And I think in Cleave, she's great. Uh, there's really not many opportunities for me to Cleave, though, in this. So I can try to Cleave this. Let me... All right. So we're just going to go with this. Just full full damage. You really want your blood spill? See how it turns out. So Rimmer will have a chance to cut, but we're gonna try to reset turn one. Rimmer doesn't even have immunity, so I only problem is I can't S2. That is a pretty fast loot, actually. Almost outsped my Karin's like three, almost 320. Um, we do rip. If we reset the Rimmer, we're completely fine. The only problem that comes into play here is that. One, Shu can counter me. Two, Rimmer is going to proc and knock me out of stealth, which is really annoying. But we are going to cut. Rimmer is way back on the CR bar, so it's probably going to one-shot me, actually. But, but just kill this. Shu did counter. As long as Shu, Shu can't get the extra hit, so it's a bulk Rimmer. All right, so we gap here. Um, I'll go ahead and kill Lua. Okay, and then, uh, what's the biggest threat here? Who's reset? It doesn't really matter. They're both reset, so we're going to have a chance to get countered regardless of what we do. I'll just hit into Shu. Okay, so just get Shu off the board. Rem Remuru will S1 me. Either way, it's just very, very solid Aiden counter. I will say that. Very nice. Uh, overall, I'm really curious to see how other people use her. So here's the soul burn. I mean, her soul burn S1 damage. That was a rumor. I don't even think that. I don't know how much HP that rumor had, but it looked like a bulk rumor. That's missing 10% damage. Her S1 soul burn damage is insane. I really like her. I like. It's just like Zahak. It's literally the S1 soul burn and Zahak's insane multiplier. The only difference she goes into stealth is Zahak gets invincibility. So you use them in different situations, obviously, but she's pretty sick. That damage is insane. Being able to one-shot Aiden's guaranteed, and I mean, she's gonna be good against Rylet and, I mean, Green Violet. We do have evasion meta coming with uh, Assassin Cartuja. I did build mine on protection set, um, so I'm gonna be trying him out when they get buffed. But I mean, you have a really good chance to hit. I'd, a Cartuja gets an extra five or something, or he gets an extra five. He gets self-evasion and he gives five more, I think. So there's going to create a 5% chance you can miss if you don't have some unity. Um, so if you don't have a hit artifact, she's still kind of iffy because there's a pretty solid chance she's not going to hit. But I don't know. Overall, I think she's 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 a hawk. Just okay, so for the last fight of the video, I'm going to try to take like a pretty risky fight. I'm going to have to sleep the polytoast right away. Uh, I'm sure it's banking on outspeed the Zeo. That might be kind of stupid. Yeah, I outspeed the Zeo. See, here's the problem, though, is speed RNG. Once you get this high, like I said, I knew this was going to eventually happen. She was going to bop my Lua. So, um, let's just try to kill without without ripping. Just S3 right here. It's enough. Dude, what, if you can get her to a point where you can safely do what I just did, that's so good. You don't even have to rip S3, meaning Politos doesn't matter at all. That's so nice. Wow. I did cheat on the speed here, but um, we do have Gab. Uh, Zeo is reset, right? Zeo is reset, so Bellion is probably Injury Bellion, I'm going to guess. I do have Gab, but I don't have Soulburn. Um, let's just kill... 
I mean, Zio's just gonna S1 me, right? And then he's slow after this turn. I'm just gonna hit Billion here. I could've hit, uh, what's his nuts and got an extra turn. I just don't see how much I do. So it is counter set. Uh, as long as this doesn't kill. Okay, it didn't kill. So we go ahead and kill this. Probably just will lose their turn. So pretty clean. I don't know. I mean, I don't get soul burn damage right here. It's just S1. Or S1's just fine. I mean, once I get the uh, Mologoros, it's going to be even better. So pretty happy with that. Um, I don't think either of these are Molid. Yeah, whatever. Just this one. Either then kills it. Okay, I mean, she's solid. I, the, if you can get your Karin to a point, if you go less speed, you can get more damage. But the thing is, Politus can be a pretty harsh counter into her. So if you can get to a point where you can just rip us two and kill, that's solid. Because then on the rotation, you can work on getting back into the S3, or uh, getting the S3 up by dealing with Politus, he's sleeping or stunning or whatever. So I'm a really excited player in RTA. I haven't played much RTA in a long time, so... I'm going to be starting Road to Legend RTA series tomorrow. Or, well, the first video should be tomorrow. So we'll be doing our placements. Hopefully we can get some good Abigail games. I built a pretty good MLK run. I mean, I have every unit in the game. So we have everything we need. We just maybe need a little bit more gear. We cannot cleave. We are not fast enough. We I have not got a speed upgrade on my account in two years of playing the game at this point. Everything I roll is 22 speed. Like, I'm fast, but I'm, I don't have those 23 to 25 speeders that set me apart from like the average person who has 20, 21 speed average on the pieces. So it just doesn't feel right trying to cleave. Maybe I'll try it for a day or two, but it's not going to be my play style. I'm going to try to play standard as much as I can. I'll play aggro standard. I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully you guys, if you pulled her, I would like to see your builds. If you join the Discord, share your build with me. I would like to see what other people are doing with her. I don't need, know if you even need to go hyper super fast, but I do think pen set is very, very nice on her. Um, but that's all I got. I think she's going to be great in Guild Wars. That's all I'll say. I think Guild Wars is going to be insane. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if you did not get lucky and got him, uh, Karen, but she's awesome. So hopefully maybe you do get her. Maybe we'll get a selector. Maybe we'll nerf uh, ML4 in the future and we'll get a selector. That's usually how to get these characters. Uh, that's how I've gotten everything. That's why I wasn't able to get Bunny Doms because they didn't do it for Bunny Dom. But every new ML4, they usually would nerf another ML4 or change them to where you got a selector. Hopefully they do that. We'll see. But I will see you guys in tomorrow's video, hopefully. Peace out. Oh, also, Discord. Join Discord. Um, real quick, if you want account work, join Discord and message me as soon as possible, or else it's going to take a while to get to your account. The fir it's first come, first serve. I have a waiting list. So get in there. Let me know. And it doesn't matter what you need done. You could be a new player. You could be someone who's trying to push Emperor. Um, I don't know if I'm the best person to go to if you're trying to push Emperor. I know how to build the characters. I just don't know how to draft them properly right now. But... Uh, it's up to you, but if you're in champion and wanting a little boost, or if your account's never been fribbles, then I'm the person to go to, well, one of them. So hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out.